Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. And in this case, we're really going to dive deep in analog. What is happening? What is taking place in this video? We are going to analyze briefly, simply, not too technically, I'm sorry, not fun, not interesting, and not worth it, in my opinion. Three very interesting new Type 2 cassettes. Oh yes. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so as you know, a few weeks ago, I presented, I announced the release of a new Type 2 cassette from Tascam. Here's a link. And why is that so important? Why was I so excited? I, and I'm still very excited because this means that cassettes are alive. They're coming back in production. As you know, I also announced at least rumors uh, arrived to my ear telling me that new high quality, apparently high quality decks are also uh, are on the chain of production and should be released in the following months, maybe next year. I don't know. Here's a link to that video. In any case, we are all glad. We are all happy. I can see on YouTube there are lots of videos now on cassettes. It's coming back at different levels. And this is one of the most important aspects of all. The creation of a Type 2 cassette. Actually, we're going to take a look at three Indeed, yes. So not only the Tascam, which is uh, the main object of this test, but at the same time, I discovered that other two brands are making their own new, ma newly made Type 2 cassettes. And what am I talking about? ATR Magnetics, which also has another one. We'll take a look after. And somebody that never left, the National Audio Company. They used to make something similar with similar graphics, but that was new old stock tape, okay? And it was fantastic. I loved it. This is a new compound, type 2. All three of them, as you can imagine, are mainly based on cobalt, okay? There's no chrome in here. It's a type 2, but unfortunately there is that downside, especially for envi environmental issues, as you can imagine. Nevertheless, this is the first step. You never know. Maybe they might find better formulations. Maybe a Type 5 is about to arrive. Who knows? But let's focus on these three little babies. Now, we're briefly going to take a look at the aesthetics. And then we're going to do a test, okay? With a very nice... Wait. Forgot to put it over there with a very nice uh, recording, the new album by Patricia Barber. This is a super audio CD. Very nice, very dynamic, female voice, nice deep bass, nice cymbals, it has it all. So it's perfect as a test disc, in my opinion. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna record this on the tapes, and we're also gonna record it on our reference on a, a Sony UXS cobalt dope release of who knows when. I mean, this is new old stock. It's probably 20 or 30 years old. But this is a high quality cassette, not the top of the tops, but it's it's very good. So I think it's a it's a good reference in order to have a fair comparison, a good comparison to these new releases, these new cassettes. And then we'll try, try to understand what is happening? I'll make some comments. Uh, obviously, you can listen with your ears, and I'm going to put also the tracks in download for download. But apart from that, I also want to discuss a little bit on uh, my impressions of this experience. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so let's start with our first cassette. Here it is, the ATR Magnetics. As you can see, classic 60 minute gold series in a minute we're gonna see why and clearly declared cobalt because as we have said no way of using chrome anymore at least for now here is the cassette 
which is very nice looking because it emulates the reel to reel reels. And that's pretty nice. Even though if we take a look at it clo pretty close, it is clear that they are made of plastic and not of metal. In any case, it's, it's a nice feeling. Another characteristic is this part here, which is somehow highlighted. That's found in uh, several cassettes. It's a decent quality cassette. It has screws and that's always positive because if we have to open it for some reason, we can do that easily. And for the rest, I mean, all the, the other elements are pretty standard. As you can see, type two, uh, it was also ready for type four, possibly all types. In any case, these are the two notches. The empty notches are here. So that's the type two. We have classic little stickers for writing on the cassette. If you like that, if you want that, and then a normal J card with all the information made in the U S and that's it. This is our first cassette, which is decent. I would think it's pretty nice. I like it. Okay. So let's leave this here. Then we have the infamous, I would say, Tascam, which started all of this again, manufactured in USA. And what do we see? Something very similar, actually. As we can see, again, we have an emulation of reel to reel reels, tape reels, again, made of plastic. This is also trying to emulate gold. And unfortunately, it isn't. It's plastic. And it's pretty ugly, I must say, unfortunately. Again, we have the highlight of this part here with this plastic part in the in the lower part. Again, we have screws. In fact, if we take a look, it's the same. It's the same identical concept. Who is producing this is producing also this and vice versa. It is clear. The formulation, no, it's probably different. Although I can't be 100% sure. The manufacturers should tell us. In any case, after these two babies here, we're going to take a look at our third cassette from NAC, the National Audio Company, the Studio Master 799. This is their top of the line cassette made for uh, as a type two. Again, this is done with realized, created with cobalt, no chrome. Again, it's manufactured in the USA, all of these. And here we have a different design. Uh, I forgot to take a look at the different um, colors of the tape. We can do that very quickly. And more or less, there are pretty similar, I must admit, because the formulation is very, very similar. And maybe the base is all coming from the same producer. That's what I suspect, since it's all made in the US. In any case, the results, the sonic results are different, at least in pairs. Why am I saying, well, I didn't show you the, the J card, normal J card for the, for the Tascam, very normal, nothing special, same stuff. Okay. But I did wanted to highlight something in order to somehow have a confirmation that we have a common pattern here, because there's also this other type that we're not going to take into consideration because it's, it's the silver series. So it's supposed to be of lesser quality. And if we take a look at it, yep, there's something similar here. There's a pattern guys. I think that the knack cassettes is this, as you can see, these little reels here in the corner, how it's manufactured the, here. In this case, we have no screws. In this case, we have no screws. It's identical. And in fact, also these two, as we have seen, are identical. So we're probably facing two main products, in my opinion. And ATR is keeping both. Tascam declared that they made their own oxide after several years for the Porta Studio. That could be. In any case, at least the uh, exterior are identical. And I suspect that large part of the of the cobalt uh, compound on these tapes are identical in these two respective ways. Okay, 
Okay, so now let's start to listen to the same track uh, on all three the tapes, okay? And afterwards, I'll give you my take. Let's proceed. This town is a lonely town, not the only town like this town. This town is a make you town or a break you town and bring you downtown. This town is a quiet town or a riot town like this town. This town is a love you town or a shove you down and push you round town. This town is a lonely town, not the only town like this town. This town is a make you town or a break you town and bring you downtown. This town is a quiet town or a riot town like this town. This town is a love you town or a shove you down and push you around.
this town is a lonely town not the only town like this town this town is a make you town or a break you town and bring you downtown this town is a quiet town or a riot town like this town this town a love you town or a shove you down and push you around town This town is a lonely town, not the only town like this town. This town is a make you town or a break you town and bring you downtown. This town is a quiet town or a riot town like this town. This town is a love you town or a shove you down and push you around town.
Okay, boys and girls, now I know that at this point you already made up your idea, I think. My idea, my opinion, is that I am quite disappointed. Yes, unfortunately, these are not quality tapes. I want to say this right from the start. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a few comments. Physically... But, and I, I, I noticed this afterwards, actually, so I wasn't biased. Apart from the physicalities, uh, these two are quite similar. Also in the results. Although, although, this had a lot of hiss. All three were extremely noisy. Extremely noisy. A lot of hiss. To, lo to loads of hiss. This had a little less hiss, in my opinion. I'm sorry, the Tascam, the Tascam had a little less hiss than the ATR and then the NAC. So one little point for here. These, the ATR and also the NAC, which are very similar in far formulation, I think, maybe identical, have a kind of a low sensitivity. I mean, I really had to add some dB in order to reach the... Uh, at least the zero db in, in 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 a recording now another thing another important thing i want to say is that at the first round of recordings i treated these as type 2 cassettes and i was recording around plus 2 db maximum the peaks a little bit maybe sometimes three but that's it two around two that was fair this can handle all the way up to plus six if it needs to do that. But apart from that, we know Sony, I mean, that's the golden era of cassettes. Okay, that's aside. But you're putting these babies out on the market. These are extremely expensive. Here are the prices. As you can see, they are quite expensive. So I am expecting a lot of quality. I'm sorry, you're deciding to do this? Is it just to get us, us audiophiles, us, uh, maniacs of all analog audio by the neck or do you really want to do an, a, a good qu high quality product i don't know i'm having some doubts here because unfortunately i have to i had to lower all of them during recording to maximum zero db okay and i was using my professionally um overhauled restored perfectly calibrated revox okay with self-calibration all done by the book but unfortunately i had to lower everything to zero because it just does not it's not able capable of dealing with that strong signal the mol the mole and the sol the soul were very bad we have a very high mole and a very low soul which means that they're not capable of dealing with low mid frequencies and the higher frequencies unfortunately almost immediately when we hit the crashes of the cymbals when we really go down in the bass you, you immediately sense distortion i mean the tape just not the particles cannot handle it they're not good in fact in my opinion and here everyone is going to hate me the manufacturers i think that the the new type 1 cassettes are better than this stuff and much much cheaper like 10 times more or even more like the, the the fox the recording the masters fox type one <sighs> much better than these guys now i appreciate that they're trying to do something new but maybe we forgot how to, how to do it maybe the technology the environmental rules do not allow we know they're not there's not chrome in there to do specific things, to reach that quality of the compounds, I don't know. In any case, the results are bad. Really, really sad. I mean, I was expecting nothing fabulous, nothing amazing, nothing fantastic. But now I'm depressed because these uh, really are not sufficient, in my opinion, in my own idea. We're not hitting the minimum quality required to ask that amount of money and to put these on the market. Now, I can say only one thing on the Tascam, okay? Because they declared everywhere that this is designed for the Porta Studio, okay? The 424. 
Okay, maybe that's it. I don't have a Porta Studio, and I'm not even interested in testing it. Uh, I mean, if you put something like this out, it can't be good only for the Porta Studio. In any case, that's that's they declared that they designed this around the Porta Studio. Nevertheless, I do think this is the best performer. Just a hair, not that much. In respect to these, the, the Tascam was a little better, but again, I would not recommend buying them. Especially for the price, but also clearly for the Sonics. Okay, guys, I hope now you have a better understanding of these. I am sorry to bring these <laughs> bad random results, but that's that's what what I'm finding. That's what I was I wanted to share with you, and hopefully the market is gonna go a little further ahead and try to deliver something better. Thank you again for watching, and remember, music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.